Welcome to Hardcore Garage. May as well do something today. Um, let's throw these power mirrors on here and get rid of these big Dumbo looking mirrors. Maybe it'll look a lot less like Goofy in the front of the truck after I change the mirrors. We'll see. <laughs> mirrors on an S10 are pretty straightforward. Got you a Torx there. Torx there and a Torx there. It's a T20. And that bad boy just has some twisting on it, hasn't it? Shove the mirror up out of your way and you can get to this one here pretty easy. And you'll just kind of get down low to get these two out of here. If your mirrors are in good shape, there's going to be a little rubber grommet type thing that's right there to keep water from going down in there and you'll have to play with it a little bit to get this plate out of your way but other than that it's a fairly simple process to do and now you can see the actual screws or torques that are holding and there's another one up top i do not have whatever size torques that would be so the next best thing if you can see that there it's a 5 30 seconds allen head driver and just be easy with it and it'll pull them out make sure you grab a hold of your mirror or oh, <laughs> or you'll lose it I always like the clean <laughs> I take things off get this old grime out of here Clorox wipes or whatever these are a hand wipe here so you got to kind of be careful with them because they do have a little bit of grit on them but just get all that nastiness off there it's been on there forever You've already seen them, but here is my passenger side mirror. Does have the harness there. I'm just going to fish it down into the door for now, and hopefully I'll be able to reuse those same screws. Nice. that fall when I let it go here and I probably want to clean those screws up a little bit too if I was you make them look a little better Let's see if I can stretch it over here and grab my impact and you don't want to do this too too tight because you will snap your plastic I'm wondering if that's correct or not I think, oh, you know what? Another screw comes in from the back side. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and do that one next. So there's the issue. Um, these are the, well, these are the screws that came out of the original mirrors. Here's one that I found inside the mirror. Still not long enough though, but it has a nicer looking head, probably is what you should use on these. You can see the difference there, maybe. Woo -woo -woo -woo. One's a little bit smaller. But anyway, I need one with that same thread pitch. Probably about half inch longer to come through the back side of the door. So I'm going to have to go through my nut and bolt bin and see if I got something that will work. Right, I was wrong again. This is my first experiment experience with power mirrors, at least installing them. But okay, so your top screw doesn't come in from the back side. I'm going to show you here where you fold this thing over. And you probably can't see it, but it's straight in there. And this, this thing will come kind of unloose and hold off to the side for you if you want. If you just let it, I mean, it's... The way these mirrors are designed <laughs> they're spring loaded so they're going to go back to the area that you put them in if that makes sense so we'll throw this front screw in here and these aren't the right ones but i'm going to use these ones temporarily till i get the right screws uh, and then we got the one on the bottom here And 
and I couldn't get it in earlier because I was using the wrong size head. And you don't want to over tighten your screws, man. That's this stuff's old plastic. Yeah. Much, much cleaner look, right? Do the same to the other side. Probably take less time since we know what we're doing now a little better. That always is helpful. Usually, what I was told when I started making videos is everyone said, do one side, figure it out, then film yourself doing the second side so you'll know what you're doing. I don't like to follow directions, and I kind of like you guys seeing the problems because everyone's going to run into issues. You might as well, you know, have a heads up on how to deal with them. I know some of it makes me look stupid, but that's okay. If you guys get to learn something from it, I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> Label me. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good one. Enjoy your week. Keep on trucking.